we look like we're doing a talk show. Like, <laughs> we're just like sitting side by side, like, welcome to the Kira and Lauren show. Cheers. Remember we had like a... Kira and Lauren show. <laughs> beautiful humans welcome back to the chanel this is my what i thought you said chanel i did chanel. you know i only wear chanel i'm a taurus anyways hello welcome back you know lauren i don't need to introduce lauren um, i am lauren yeah so today we're gonna be reacting to your gay ass juicy ass confessions just as juicy as this beer right here not sponsored it's easter and we're having a drink or Jesus. <laughs> Jesus never died. I'm gonna need more of this if we keep talking about Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you sent in these confessions via Instagram. Don't worry, they're all gonna be anonymous, but if you wanna participate in the next video like this, make sure you go follow me on the Instagrams. I also have a new podcast coming out this freaking month. This is my amazing producer here and sound editor and everything, all of the above. So professional. The quality is so let's get into the confessions. Lauren has never seen these um, confessions before, but they are all spicy and gay. Grab a beer at home. Gra grab a beer. Unless you're not. Unless you don't drink alcohol. Or grab a joint, unless it's illegal. React with us. React with us. I got drunk with my ex and peed on her desk chair in her dorm thinking it was the bathroom. <laughs> I had like a litty titty phase, but I never went through like that drunk college phase. You don't know um, right now. I'm going okay. through it right on Easter Sunday. Amen. The sex was so good, I accidentally farted so loud. It happens. I feel like it happens. It happens. Like you're like so relaxed and loose. I feel like that that's a that means it was a good sexual experience because you were just able yeah. to like let go. Everyone like no everyone needs to admit that they've been having sex and then all of a sudden they go, hold on, wait, I think I need a fart. And then they like fart and then it carries on. Like it doesn't kill the vibe. Exactly. So you don't need to be embarrassed about that. No. It's okay. People fart. If you People don't fart, fart, I'm scared for you. Here I used to keep it in and they got a lot of gas problems. So much stomach pains. Don't do what I did. Speaking of. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even you know. can barely hear that. I almost pooped. <laughs> oh no. So I stopped. <laughs> I even heard the poop. <laughs> Woo! I need to check my undies after that. Oh my god. Or wait, let me check my undies. We're good. <sighs> this is chaotic. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. We sit down to film a video and chaos always ensues. I was giving head to my girlfriend and her grandma walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing my grandma. My grandma has the biggest country accent ever. I'm picturing her going, oh, oh, Lauren. Oh my god, what's going on? I was in love with this girl who is a classmate of mine. Mm -hmm. I remember one night we were at the disco together and everything was so spicy and flirty because we still mm -hmm. hadn't confessed our feelings. She knew how obsessed I was with her when she wore flannel shirts. Ooh. So she came Canadian. closer, girl. Right? Is she Canadian? <laughs> Ooh la la. So she came closer to me and said into my ear, I bought a new flannel shirt. And without even thinking about it, I screamed, You want to get me pregnant? I really oh! <laughs> Too late. I was so embarrassed. Oh, honey. Oh, no. Oh, oh. so she thought she said, I want to get you pregnant. Yeah. But she said, I got a new flannel. <laughs> oh, girl. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so funny. That's, I'm so sorry. I'm but... so sorry. Oh, wait, you just what laughed. happened? Is that the end of it? That's the end of oh, it. Oh, my God. These are all cliffhangers. I like, what happened? happened? Like, was she like, that's not what I said, but yeah. Or was she <laughs> like, I'm not. Oh, in brackets here it says, she liked me back, but it oh. ended in a really bad way. Oh. BTW, so wish me luck for the next three years in the same class. Oop. 
Big oop. Oh, I'm sorry it didn't work out. She's not good for you anyway. She, she didn't get you pregnant. She didn't get you pregnant. I kissed a girl, then I kissed her girlfriend while she was right there, and I ended up dating her girlfriend. You know there's plenty of threesome <gasps> fantasies on Dipsy. Damn. You could listen I to I bet a, there is. You could listen to a sexy story on Dipsy about that. Speaking of Dipsy, this video is sponsored by Dipsy. Sometimes we need something to spice up our self-pleasure time. This is why I love Dipsy. Dipsy is an app with hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women to listen to during your me time or you could listen to it with a partner. There's also self-touch audios, there's written stories, there's sleep stories, there's beautiful soundscapes, and excellent voice actors to make your fantasy come to life. Dipsy is super inclusive. They have stories for straight and queer listeners, and actually 56% of the stories are voice acted by people of color. They even have stories voiced by celebrities. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories, you can go and discover new ones. My favorite series is the self-touch series and the erotic breathwork series. It really helps me connect with my breath during masturbation. There's also a cute little audio on there that's questions that you can ask your partner. You like ask your partner, would you be interested in this in the bedroom? What's your king? I love that they have that because I feel like there's not a lot of spaces that like allow that kind of conversation to happen. Anyways, for my lovely subscribers, Dipsy is offering an extended 30 day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash Kira. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to dipsystories.com slash Kira. D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash K-E-A-R-A. -E if you're feeling kind of in a funk, in a sexual funk, go and try out Dipsy. Somehow not realizing I was gay, despite imagining my high school boyfriend as a woman whenever we made out, LOAO. <laughs> Wait, I did that, but with like sex. When I had a boyfriend, like I, 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 you know, I was imagining a woman. I feel like that's not uncommon for people who are discovering their sexuality. No, definitely not. Cause I mean, yeah. I did it, so. That's Next good. question. What do your farts smell like? <laughs> I can tell you what Lauren's farts smell like. Eggs. That one's just bad. <laughs> Depends on the day. Lauren yeah. usually smells like eggs. <laughs> I'm usually really gassy when I'm getting ready to poop. And when it's right at the back door, that's when it smells the worst. My farts smell like poop. This is definitely for someone who has like a kink for farts and he's asking me so that he can imagine what my farts smell like. That's what I, that's what I literally thought when I read this. I'm not gonna say then. No, just say it. I'm just... <laughs> I don't care, people can fantasize about my fart. That's a compliment. <laughs> Beer has me unhinged. I okay, <laughs> um. Yes, yes, yes. Your farts vary, so like sometimes they're silent but deadly, and so they smell like 80 day old ranch dressing that's been sitting Ooh. out on the counter. Ew. <laughs> but then a lot, that's some horrible. other times. <laughs> Most of the time they don't smell. So enjoy yeah. fantasizing about my farts. 80 day old rich. <laughs> That's disgusting. When she first went down on me, she put her finger in the wrong hole. I laughed so hard. Whoop! I would I literally just like felt it in my body. Up, the up my butt. Like whoop! <laughs> my butt would have squeezed so hard. Maybe it was her first time. And I would have literally had trauma after that. You just now let me start looking at your butt hole. <laughs> Hello? Mel? When I was about eight years old, me and my friends literally had sexy naked photo shoots. Slay. Should have known I was queer way sooner. <laughs> Wait, eight? Wait, I missed the eight year old detail. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard like when I was younger, we had sexy photo shoots. What kind of <laughs> sexy photo shoots? I hope for like your sake, those are deleted and dead and gone now because I wouldn't want those to get in the wrong hands. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's really dark. I'm, I'm sorry, my brain is really dark. <laughs> um. I liked a girl I had recently become friends with, but wasn't sure if she felt the same until she held my hand during a mass service. <laughs> and they got our father on it. <laughs> Imagine, let's do it. Our, our father. father. 
are who art in heaven, hallowed be <gasps> thy name. <gasps> thy kingdom come. <laughs> well, anyway, we are together now, and I've been. Jesus is risen. Been for a year, <laughs> so it worked out well. Woo! Drink to that! Yay! Praise Jesus! I like my manager. I like that she is bossy with me. Ooh. Kinky. 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 I'm all for cake. We love when people boss us around, throw us around, don't we, Lauren? We do. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for sending in your wonderful, wonderful, gay, embarrassing, crazy stories. It's been a minute. Glad to be back. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you have a great rest of your day, wonderful humans. And I will see you in my next video or in my podcast. Woo woo. Potty pod. And that is a wrap. That's a wrap. Beach. Oh, it didn't work. Bye. <laughs>